If these walls could talk, they would tell hundreds of stories. Let me have a look. Tales of the trinkets. It's from 1908. Wow. It's a lady standing in front of Niagara Falls, advertising a grocery store in Winnipeg. Neat, eh? Even ones about love. I still have the first item she came in to sell me. But Mike's General Store on St. Anne's all started with this story. My dad had a grocery store and I used to go in there to help him uh, work on a Saturday and I would uh, sort the pop bottles out. And I remember one day this lady had returned a couple Suncrest bottles, snuck in with the Coke and 7-Up bottles. And I said, Dad, you just got ripped off by two cents each. He says, well, stick them in the corner with the other companies aren't in business and if they come back in business, maybe we'll get our deposit back. So I said, can I take one of each home? Because I thought it was kind of neat. You know, there was Suncrest and Stubby and why not? All these drinks that were no longer around. By the time he was in his 20s, he was sitting on a serious collection of odds and ends. And as it turns out, a business. I was unemployed. Uh, <laughs> I lived in a house with five guys. I'd collected all this junk while I was unemployed. And then we all split up and I had all this stuff that, oh my God, what am I going to do with all this? I can't put it back at my parents' basement. So I thought, ah, oh, let's just open up a shop for fun. 35 years later, the shop has turned into a Winnipeg landmark that people travel across the country to see. Some come to shop. It's cool. Anything cows? Others to try and sell Mike their own goods. Test it. Yes. I was hoping that we could uh, make it as a deal. And yeah, this is kind of interesting. You know what? 90% of the items you see, you've seen before. It's that 10% of items that you haven't seen that gets you all excited because it's something different all of a sudden, you know, and it's, yeah, and that, that's what still gives you the thrill of, you know, every morning here is like Christmas morning. You just don't know what you're going to find. I mean, it's actually yeah. a, a fairly scarce uh, Canadian tin worth a couple hundred dollars. And another thing Mike has found over the years is many good friends. Collectors come in and they want to share their passion with someone. It's not a, a photocopy because that's his signature in pencil. And they can share it with me. I mean, I, you know, I understand a guy who, who collects the wheel variations on Matchbox cars. <laughs> and who else can he tell that to? Might have a little Beswick Bulldog. Whether it be the Mickey Mouse collector, the toy collector, the, the, the sign collector, the, 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 the lady who collects uh, uh, jewelry, but it's only in the shape of uh, animals or, or spiders or something, you know. I mean, we have something in common together. And that's what makes it a lot of fun. One friend who he now calls his wife, business partner, and mother of four children. She came in with a mirror uh, with advertising a British uh, brewery uh, with a bulldog on it. I had found this at a garage sale. And it was kind of neat. I brought it into Mike, who loved it, <laughs> but pretended he didn't. Ah, it's the worst item I've ever seen in my life. He bought it from me. It was the first piece I sold to him. And she'd show up from time to time, finding little things. She was like a picker, you know, like the TV shows. The sky bag. And the rest is history. I really love my job. So, and I love working with Mike. She definitely brought a whole different flavor to the business. And, and you know, and I, I mean, that's just one of the reasons why I love her. <laughs> and that love for the job and for each other is what Mike says will keep the store around for many more years. Or the day I die is the day I retire. I'll tinker with it and maybe get it going. I'll do this as long as I can still wake up in the morning and get here and, uh, you know, tell a story, share, share, t you know, an item or whatever, you know. I said, do you want to try my borscht? And uh, oh. he said it was actually pretty good. It's been a long road. It's been a long struggle. There's been good times. There, there's been tough times, you know, but uh, all in all, in the end, you know, uh, you know, we've had a lot of fun, a lot of great memories, a lot of great times, and, you know, hopefully they'll go on for quite a few more years yet.